Ravenia. Venia. Take a moment to allow our music to soothe your heart. Rebellion.
Lumos. Rebellion. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. You. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up.
pity more people can't watch the duels. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Lumos. Revelio. Revenia.
Augustus Hill just wants you to buy something, though. He's all waiting. and then not telling me the answer. Practically competing with another. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that, and now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Armit tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Armit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Ravenia.
This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Take them back to Cressida. Revelio. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh! You're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps
Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. with a man who is more infuriating no at all. Lumos. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? 
they did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion.
Assault potions required. Revelio. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant! Don't get too cocky, Simple. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair him. Nicely done! Works like a charm, doesn't it? Revelio. <laughs> Repair. Thank you. 
what survives the reign of this head master. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Repair it. Might some kind soul help me? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me... Work out, Dueling Sebastian.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's goblins. <laughs> Rebellion. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Venia. Can't seem to get the smell of dragon dung out of my robes. I suppose it's better than stink sap. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I've never had difficulties with bouncing balls. Revenia!
Velio. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. to keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. The last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revenia.
Velio. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down. Revenue. had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Rebellion. Those bouncing bulbs get big, they can be quite strong. Might keep an eye you don't get one that's too mature, or you'll be having to come.
Ravenia. Rebellion. Nothing to identify, for now at least. Revelio. Ravenia. Rebellion. few hamlets outside of Hogsmeade. I'm going to try and visit them all this year. Lumos. Ravenia. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Venia. Rebellion. Ravenia. Rebellion. Venia. Rebellion.
Prepare. Revenia. Rebellion. How in the world could you... Revenue. Everyone seems to think. Well, fancy meeting you here. Revenue.
Revelia. Lumos. Revelia. Lumos. Lumos. Revenia. Lumos. Revenia.
Ravenia. Lumos. Rebellion. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad for me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. Rebellion. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised well, that Professor can trust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Revelia. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. 
They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Avelio. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon. Yeah. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, then turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? Demi guys, I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, and he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Rebellion.
Pavilion. Rebellion. Rebellion. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, ditany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory.
Bavenia. Today, I'm willing to put in the word to learn. Revenia. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. 
think you might be the one. Here, take it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. One is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match! Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance.
Revelia. One of the ministry works a day in their life. If it weren't for the cost Rebellion. of Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we?
Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, hello there. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I am choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? No, look around. Plenty of ingredients to pick your interest, don't we, Jack? Well, that's everything. Let's go and find Sebastian.
Velio. Venia. Revenia.
Ravenia. Revenia! Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? Revelia.
Ravenia. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revenue. Revenia. Rebellion. Revenia. Lumos.
Revelio. Lumos. Hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. Lumos. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, we 
opening him at all. Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. Heavy oh. That's right, you lumbering loud. He's faltering. A few more hits should do the job. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. a singer to worry about. Revelia. Repair. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we?
I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> uh, how timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, 
My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Lumos. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. <laughs> 